Before coming to Pixie, I wasn't sure if I uh, had a place in philosophy, but coming to Pixie, I found a community where um, uh, my interest in philosophy um, really was able to shine, and so I now feel like if I apply to graduate programs, I'll have that community, and it's gonna be great. <laughs> This experience has really solidified um, my drive to continue on and do graduate studies. Um, at first I was on the fence, but then seeing that I'm not completely alone um, in philosophy and that I'm not the only you know, woman of color or this and that uh, makes me feel actually more empowered and sure that this is something that I would want to do, um, even given you know, the, the type of uh, discrimination or difficulties that we would have. I was a little on the fence about going to grad school before I came here um, and now I feel a lot more committed to that decision and I think that's because um, the connections that I made here were amazing. I didn't really see myself in the career because I didn't see representations of myself or sometimes even myself in the text and so Pixie has really shown me that there is a community of folks that are working on issues that I'm concerned about and that this is um, something that's doable for someone like myself. Pixie really offered this opportunity better than any other program that I've seen. Uh, the opportunity to work so closely with, with great faculty and to get advice as to even the application process for grad school and, and choosing a school, uh, it's, it's an opportunity unlike any other. Pixie is an amazing experience. It's a seminar in which students, um, students from underrepresented groups can understand the ways in which philosophy can be transformed, um, the ways in which philosophy can become more inclusive and more meaningful uh, to students that have um, multiple identities uh, and come from marginalized backgrounds. The Philosophy in an Inclusive Key Summer Institute is designed to provide a group of undergraduates with experience in philosophy, but in this case with a variety of different dimensions to philosophy. One of the themes of Pixie, as we call it, is to look at philosophy that's inclusive, but also philosophy that is what I call liberatory philosophy. So inclusive philosophy means using the tools of philosophy to look at issues such that are in influenced by gender or race and other types of diversity. The liberatory part of it has to do with an awareness that there are often axes of oppression or forms of racism or sexism around axes of difference. And liberatory philosophy is designed to better understand what causes those forms of oppression and think about ways that we might, as individuals and as societies, work to remove them. At Pixie, uh, undergraduates learn to develop their, their writing skills, uh, their speaking skills, and also their, their critical thinking skills. Um, many students don't have the opportunity to have seminar-style classes uh, in their education and Pixie uh, works very much at the conversational level so all throughout the day you're having conversations with your peers with your professors um, and really developing uh, the kinds of ideas that you might not have the ability to if you're only take doing lectures all day. Uh, Pixie is a community of people of undergraduate students, graduate students, and professionals in the field of philosophy. And it's a community that uh, supports each other and supports the inclusion of, of diverse perspectives in the field of philosophy. We also have graduate students who are part of Pixie. And this is, this is really a story of how important Pixie is to so many different institutions and to so many different people. Pixie gets funding not only from the American Philosophical Association and Penn State University in order for it to be able to continue each year. 
every graduate student who's a part of Pixie and who helps make it an incredible experience for our undergraduate Pixie Fellows is funded by their home institution. Penn State always contributes one uh, graduate student from philosophy, but each year you'll see typically three additional um, graduate students whose home philosophy departments pays their way and gets them to us and provides them with the money they need to be able to do this. It's a great honor and it's a great privilege to be a part of Pixie. I think the grad students end up getting the best of both worlds, which means they're also working twice as hard, which is it gives them a sense of what it is to be a mentor. Um, to be a mentor to other students. Again, often they've had help getting to where they are. It gives them a chance to sort of pay back. Um, it also helps put their own perspective, their own experience in perspective. It gives them a chance to remind themselves, like, what is it like to be an undergraduate? Many of them are TAing or teaching their own classes, um, and they can really get to know the students here, and it's very exciting for them. It also gives them a chance to sort of act to some degree like a professional philosopher, um, to do some teaching in the small group work that they do, to talk to meet with the faculty often who are doing working in similar areas um, to their own um, give them a chance to uh, w do their own work talk with faculty who are doing that um, and perhaps also hopefully solidify that what they're doing is a good thing and it's the right thing and it's the right thing for them this has been a really transformative experience for the students and for the graduate students. Um, I don't think anybody anticipated the kind of learning atmosphere that would be generated here. I don't think any of us could have anticipated the excitement that they would feel about the ideas or um, how impressed we would be with um, each other's contributions, uh, how able we are to learn from each other. I think philosophy is something that's vitally important, not just to those outside the discipline, but to those within the discipline. It's supposed to be a, a living art. This experience will be invigorating to see young minds who potentially could be joining you a few years down the road in the academy, but also to know that what we do isn't simply about writing words on a page. It's about entering into a dialogue with those who are, in some ways, getting, hearing their voices for the first time and having them val validated for the first time. To remember that through all that we go through, you know, these uh, younger students are what we should be looking forward to and to remind us that we also can forget that we have our own particular voices and particular experiences and to, also to validate ourselves again as well. I think it was a great experience, and it's it's a it's a very short week. It's uh, it's one week, um, but then every day is um, full of seminars and discussions with small groups. And I had a great time with my um, with my undergraduate students, and we had lots of different discussions, not only with regard to philosophy, but with regard to life and grad grad student life and generally academia. And I would advise them to be really open about how they feel about philosophy and how, what kind of questions they have in mind, what kind of thoughts they have in mind, and be really open about them and engage as many conversations as possible um, when they are here with people who are willing to help and interested in the um, same questions as they are. I received my PhD in philosophy in 1979. And in 1979, there were 25% of the people receiving PhDs in philosophy were women. Our statistics have gone up a bit, but only a bit. We're still significantly under 30% of the PhDs in philosophy are women. Now, that's a lot of years between 1979 and 2014. I also look around when I'm at an APA meeting, an American Philosophical Association meeting, and you can just visibly see many of the lacks of diversity in terms of um, visual differences between us. But I also know that there are differences that are, can't be seen on the surface, so to speak, that also aren't represented 
So I'm very committed to doing what I can to make sure that philosophy is a more inclusive profession. Pixie is the type of program that I think professional philosophy needs to, um, needs to support. Um, it's vital for the health of our discipline. Um, it's vital for our discipline becoming more progressive. Um, and there's not enough programs like this out there. Um, and I think it makes, because of that, that's an, that's an additional reason that makes Pixie just that much more important. Philosophy is an amazing resource, but it needs to keep growing, and it needs to address the real lives of all sorts of people. Um, and if philosophy is going to continue as a discipline that is living and is vibrant, that's what it needs to do. We're already doing it, but we need to have more people doing it, and Pixie is something that helps keep fomenting that.